So how do we do all this stuff? Well, the easiest and, and best way uh, to explain that, I think, is to just to mention that we use a histogram. A histogram you've, you've all used before, I think. They're nothing but a frequency distribution. You might think of it as a bunch of mailboxes. It could be alphabetic, but in this case they're numeric. And we assign the low values on one end, high values on the other. And each one's got a set increment. If the data falls in that category, it goes in that box. These can be easily, um, the procedure easily done within Excel. It's, uh, if you look for something called data analysis, histogram will be one of those features. And it will take your data set and immediately generate a histogram for you. This is an example of a histogram now for yield. So this was a yield map that was submitted to Excel and a histogram was generated. You notice it's, it's bell-shaped. This is in bushels per acre, but at the low end, we have yields that are, are in the neighborhood of 100 bushels, and the high end up to about 250. So there's a lot of change, a lot of difference in there. We'd like to know why, what we can do about it, and these can lead to management decisions. To give you another example, this came from, from sensor data taken in Mexico, but, but the histogram here, I've, I've included what they call a, a, a summary line, which, which is percentile. So at the end, where we have the highest vegetation indices, by that point, we've, we've counted for 100% of all the data. We go along, go back, less and less of it. And within Excel, you can click on, on any one of these points here, and it will tell you the value and give you the information about that data. But the way we use that, we would ask the farmer to tell us about the, the minimum yield that we would expect, and I used two ton per hectare, and the maximum yield, for example. So that means we've got 40 bins going across here. If each one has got three tenths of a ton per hectare. So for each, there, there's 40 little bars going across here. We've got 40 bins in the histogram. And so this makes it very convenient now to assign a yield to each one of these bins, even though the, the bend values here are, are um, vegetation index values, we're now going to be able to assign each one of those a yield value. And therefore, we can go back and instead of making a map of our vegetation index, we can make a map of potential yield. That's our estimate of yield, so that's our proxy yield map. 